Hi, it's Bumble. Welcome back to my channel. We're going to possibly finish the in the woods today. I'm actually on my epilogue right now, but I saved before that really started. Because I'm thinking I'm going to record it and then start a new game. Because the, the poll that I put up for either starting Link's Awakening or uh, whatever Paper Mario it was, you guys wanted Link's Awakening, so I'm gonna go pre-record that. Cause I just felt like playing something on the Switch today, but I'm like, okay, I wanna finish Night in the Woods. I wanna vaguely have the mentality of like, finish something and then play something new. And yeah, so I finish Super Mario RPG. Then I finish Night in the Woods, and then I'm gonna start Link's Awakening. I'm also thinking of buying a game on the switch sale is going on when I'm recording this. I'm trying to decide which one though, because there's usually like big switch sales. I try to get those when I can. That's how I got uh, Luigi's Mansion 3, and I ended up loving that, so. Anyway. This music's so calming. That's true, actually. I thought for a second she was going to start talking about school, but no, they could have died easily. There's a lot of times in this game they could have died. Yeah, and then left to hang out with friends. And then went into a mine, and, you know, I'm assuming they hasn't told her mom about that. Yeah, she has had a tough one. At least one night and train doesn't go out and hangs out with the family and stuff. I don't want to go to the next today. I don't think that was even going to be the next time. I just really thought she was going to have a bigger role. I thought she was going to be involved in, like, I don't know, catching the cult people or whatever. She's just kind of.
okay, I'm babysitting, but like tacos are weird. The murder cult of dads. See, I knew it was a cult. A cosmic horror. Maybe it was the creature in the hall? It did actually look like a goat now that I think about it. Interesting. You know, maybe that's part of the reason people replay this game. Because it's like you know about the creature and you look for signs for it. I mean, it would be shitty to tell them, but I think they do deserve closure to know that their son is dead. They'll find out eventually, so...
Cody kind of didn't want her to move in with them, but she's at least allowed to live in it. question is about like if they're the only people that matter in the world or they're the only ones that care, I think. And, and like lost track, you get so into these little conversations. That was like just a good way to end it. And I was hoping for like one final song and then we end it. But also, yeah, we didn't get to see the conversations. Uh, but, you know, that could be why they asked me like, oh, are you ready for band practice? I didn't know that was going to be the last thing. I actually just finished this game earlier, but I thought I was going to need at least another hour or something. But it was good, it was good, I liked it. Um, I think this was a good choice for my friend and me. But I mean, I did also have this on my Steam wish list, so I think some of my other friends might have this stuff. But yeah, I can see why people would play it. I don't think I would, I don't really care about the TV, so I like the other choices and stuff, but I thought it was good. This kind of gave a little bit of a vibe too, and I haven't ever finished this game. I played it like a couple of times at a friend's house, but, um, uh, uh, Master Jesus is in the show. Uh, uh, fuck, the game where you have like time powers and you try and save your friend, and Life is Strange. Yeah, yeah, I played that a little bit in high school with a friend. I have like multiple friends that really like that game, but then I didn't finish it. I didn't even get like super far into it. It was kind of hard for me to be honest because even though it was like in high school, I think I didn't feel that the dialogue felt a little bit cringe, but it was also kind of good. I don't know. I thought maybe I need to give it another shot. It would be something like I'd play on here though, and not like by myself to like make sure that I actually get through it. I don't even know what it's on. But... <laughs> That was cool. That was short. He was okay. Aww, Rip Casey. But they all got their pizza. She just may have finished her book. Okay, is it gonna take me to another screen? What do I do? I'm, I'm pressing the- oh, there we go. I didn't know that. I thought that was like an original game. Interesting. Because I've just like had to jump in. Okay. Well, oh yeah, I can start a new game. Oh, I see. Because I finished the game, so you wouldn't be able to continue. That's how they make sure. Concept art. Let's check that out. I'm curious. I like how that means Germ is also part of the game as well. This game started in 2013. Yeah, they didn't really change much. This is cool, the town is always so detailed. Church looks way different. Hmm. 
There isn't like same, so I can't do like certain parts again. But that's okay. That's one of the things that would be still with me. But I'm surprised I got through this in like eight and a half hours rather than I've heard I read some things where it's supposed to be like eleven hours or something. Didn't feel like I rushed too much out of things though. But yeah, it was a cool. I'm just still talking because I'm not gonna make a review of this. But it was cool. I recommend it. I liked most of it. I liked, there was a lot of like mini games too, even though I sucked at almost all of them. I appreciate that. They felt really natural. I like the characters. Sometimes I'm iffy with like friend groups or something in like these kind of games, but this one was pretty solid and I like how you get to individually hang out with them. It is interesting to me though that there's four, you know, there's four people in this group that you can only hang out with Greg and V and I mean, I know, I know, I did miss the event with Angus, but it would've been cool to kind of get to know him most, too. Especially because, like, during the event with, like, him and Greg, where he tagged along, it, the group, like, got into a huge argument and stuff. Um, but it was cool. I kind of wish the, like, cultist stuff and the, like, spooky things, like, were a little more part of the game. I mean, it was nice that it was, like, you focus on hanging out with friends and then sort of spooky stuff happens that felt kind of natural but I was kind of more interested in it and it, it's like we got little hints but I wanted like a bit more with that especially because it affected felt like a ton of things happened in the ending compared to the beginning where there wasn't really like a lot of stuff so and the beginning of the game did feel like a little bit repetitive but but everything worked together like really well yeah maybe I'll eventually replay this and try and get stuff but I think I'm good I got as you can see, a lot of stuff I gotta play on here. It's almost thinking of doing Kiwi 64 next, actually, but, but I wanna go play stuff on Switch instead, so I'm gonna go do that. Alrighty, hope you guys liked this game. I sure did, and I'll see you next.